Hi guys, it's Lisa Joy Young. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be talking about cheek art and um, giving examples of ways that you can make your cheek art a little more special with literally just seconds added on to the time that it takes to paint it. So um, before I do that though, I want to talk about it a little bit and ways that you can make your business more successful with cheek art. I know that people aren't really a big fan of it because a lot of times because of the detail involved, it takes the same amount of time as big faces, um, and it's just, you know, a pain, so I'm not a big fan of it. I know most face painters aren't, but a lot of times parents and sometimes even children do insist on it. So the question is, how do you make it work for you? Um, the number one rule is to make sure that you don't take too much time on it. The last thing you want to do is do a ton of detail on something that's going to be only this big and not have that much of an impact. Um, for the people you're painting for and for other people around that are watching you, you want to take the time on things that have a big impact, not just little things. So make sure that you have um, a lot of cheek art under your belt that takes you two minutes or less. You never want to take more than two minutes on cheek art because of the small impact that it has. Also, um, think about where you're putting it. Um, if you do get a child that wants it on their cheek, put it up in this area. It'll be more attractive if it's kind of up high off to the side on their temple than if you were to just put it right there. It's just something about it. It's just not very attractive, like right in the center of the cheek. So try to offset it and put it a little higher and then it'll be more attractive. So um, a quick tip on making it more special and not just this design on a cheek is to make your cheek art into a crown. And obviously this isn't going to work for boys. Um, it's a little too feminine for that. And it's not going to work for girls that have bangs. So if you need to do cheek art on girls with bangs or boys, stick right here. But if you have a girl without bangs who wants cheek art, you can easily turn it into a crown with just a few extra seconds and it'll look prettier, it'll be more attractive, and it'll be more impressive. So I'll give you a quick example of two different ways you can do this. All right, so the first cheek art I'm gonna do is a dolphin. I get this a lot, it's one of the most popular ones. Um, for girls and for boys, actually. So, um, a quick and easy way to paint a dolphin is with um, a number six or larger round brush. Don't think that you can only do one stroke, because I'm gonna be doing one stroke, with uh, square brushes. You can use your uh, round brushes too, so um, keep an open mind about that, and sometimes it's easier with round brushes. So I'm gonna be taking this number six round, and um, this is just a little cake I made. It has blue, a dark blue, and a white on it. And being careful, because it's not a very big brush, but being careful to keep the blue on one side and the white on the other, I'm just gonna load okay, that up. So whenever you turn cheek art into a crown, you're always gonna wanna put the cheek art right in the center of your forehead. So I'm gonna take my brush with the blue facing up and do a hook shape um, for the dolphin. So, let's see if I can do this on myself. Go up, and then down like that, all right? And I'm gonna round out the head area a little bit. I'm gonna flip my brush over and just uh, make the head a little rounder. Put the blue back on top and do just a small little nose. Just like that. Don't do your noses too long on dolphins because they look cuter if they're um, just a stubby little stubby little nose. Okay, so from this point, I'm gonna do the dorsal fin with the blue up, about right here. Just flick out, turn the blue over and do one more to make it a little bigger. And then with the blue down, I'm just gonna do this little fin over here, just a little one. And make this a little bit fatter down here press your brush and pull it down and do the same thing oopsie here we go press the brush and pull okay, it down. so you got the basic um, dolphin done now um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of white on a what is this a number three brush and 
use that. Oh, and another tip for when you're doing cheek art to help keep the time down, use as little colors as possible. So um, don't use a gazillion colors because that's going to take more time to keep loading them up. So really try to keep the colors you use um, limited. Okay, so I got the white on my brush. I'm just going to do a little eye. And that's it. You can outline it and do all that stuff if you want, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And to make it into a crown shape, I'm just going to do teardrops to kind of mimic splashes of water. So starting up here, I'm going to do my longest teardrop and bring it down to a point. And then just do smaller and smaller like that. And do the same thing on this side. You could do a couple little dots. And maybe a couple teardrops right down here. One, two, three. Another little and dot. there you have it. It's super simple um, to do the teardrops. It took like a couple extra seconds. If you have a little more time, you can outline the dolphin, but you don't have to. And for cheek art, I would suggest not doing it um, if you have any weight at all, just because um, you want to save time where you can. So, all right. I'm going to show you another one right okay, now. Okay, so I'm a little red from wiping that all off, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the same kind of thing, but with a ladybug design. So I used two colors for the last one, blue and white. And for this one, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use um, red, white, and black. So how I do ladybugs is I just do kind of like a big heart shape, just kind of one side and then up, and then the other one and up and fill that in. Okay, now since I already have red on my brush, I'm gonna be doing um, hearts to form the crown. Flowers would look cute too. If you have a little extra time, you could do that, but the quickest way um, is to use the same color of what's already on your brush. So, I'm just gonna do a couple hearts. So, one right there, and then one right there. And do the same thing on this side. Two. Okay, so I just do a little head. Um, skinny and fat. Skinny and fat. And then you can kind of fill in that little bottom area right there. Okay, so there's the outline. It looks a little odd because I couldn't, my hand was right in front of my face and I couldn't see what I was doing. But um, just do a couple dots. Remember to make sure some of the dots are like going uh, down to your outline and some are right in the middle. They don't have to be perfect. And uh, make sure that they're all different sizes too. And little antennas. So I just push, kind of flick my brush. And there you go. There's the lady. Finish it up. Just do, I think it's cute to do little teardrops down here. So just do some teardrops and little dot. And then just a little dot that connects each of the hearts. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I just put a little bit of glitter on it. But as you can see, it just took a few seconds to do the dots and the hearts. And I think this looks a lot cuter than just having a ladybug on your cheek. So, all right, I hope that was able to help some of you guys out and that you'll be able to paint some pretty quick crowns at your next event. If you haven't already done so, please rate and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye.